Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about tips for Halloween. So what I mean by these tips is I'm going to give you day of examples of exactly how to set your dog up for success when it comes to having trick or treaters and possibly loud noises, kids, uh, people in costumes and even candy, all of that fun stuff happening can be really, really scary for some of our dogs. I'm talking specifically for my German Shepherd here. Atlas, on the other hand, would be ecstatic about all of it happening. He would not be scared whatsoever. But for our Apollos, there are some things that we need to do to make sure that this holiday is just as special for him as it is for us. So the first tip I have for you starts at the beginning of your day, and it's kind of a two for one. The first, the first thing I would highly encourage you guys to do is to take your dog on an early morning walk. This sets them up for success by showing them, well, first, getting some of their energy out so that they are more relaxed throughout the day. But also, if you go on a successful training walk, which just means... Um, on a walk where they are not reacting, barking, lunging at the end of the leash, then that sets them up for success in, in the future for however long. It doesn't just set them up for success for Halloween. It's just a really good training walk to go on. The other thing is to potentially use a puzzle toy for your dog's breakfast. So now, just in the morning hours, you have exercised your dog's body and their brain. And by doing both of this, you have a really well-exercised dog and a well-enriched dog as well. So this means you could use part of your dog's breakfast for the puzzle toy to enrich their brain and kind of exercise their brain. And then you can use part of their breakfast for that training walk. You can be rewarding good choices. Anytime they make eye contact with you, I'm going to mark and reward that. Or even if they see something scary, you can mark and reward a no reaction. Remember, we're marking and rewarding things that we want more of. So if we want more eye contact with our dogs, we're going to be marking and rewarding that eye contact. If we want a no reaction from our dogs, so maybe your dog sees some decor Halloween decorations and they don't react at all, that's what we want. So we're going to mark and reward that. And by doing that, we're going to set our dog up for success even more so than if it was just a standard walk and they were just at the end of the leash pulling. All right, so now I wanna in take a second and introduce my online course. This online course really sets our dogs up for success because it works on, it works on loose leash walking, household manners, reactivity, and really everything that you could need to create a well-rounded dog who is wonderful to live, live with. It works on relationship building and how to really build a bond with your dog that you've had with no other dog before. I really love everything about this course because it's formatted in a way that you start at level one, which is the easiest level, and you work through all of those exercises. And then as you progress to the further levels, I believe there's four, it gets more and more difficult. But if your dog is struggling, you can always go back a level and work and practice on that before you, you go to a harder level. You do not have to, you get lifetime access to this course, so you don't have to rush through anything. I have the link in the description below, especially for holidays, and I know um, Halloween is just the start of the holidays. Um, this course is really great for helping your dog through this difficult time for so many dogs. All right, so now we're gonna talk more about when it's closer to the trick-or-treating time or the festivities. And during this time, I would highly suggest giving your dog um, some type of enrichment toy. So a, Kong, a stuffed Kong is probably my go-to on what I would give for my dogs. And um, my stuffed Kongs are always frozen because these guys are masters at Kongs that are not frozen. So I would give them, I will be giving them 
a stuffed Kong when um, all the festivities are going on. And in addition to that, I will also have, I'm not sure if you can hear, but right now I have some music going on in the background for them. I would do the exact same, either a TV, a TV show or some background music so that it kind of dampens the outside noise so that it can be easier for them to focus on the TV or the radio or whatever is going on in the background instead of everything that's going on outside that might be overwhelming. So since in the morning, we have already exercised our dog's brains and our dog's bodies, we're giving them some more mental stimulation by um, giving them a frozen Kong or maybe even a lick mat if you're going to be home and can supervise them with the lick mat. My dogs would tear them apart if I had left them alone with it, so that won't be something they will be getting for sure. And then the remainder of their dinner can be given in another puzzle toy, or depending on how they handled everything, it could just be given as a normal dinner. It's really, really flexible with what you can do for your dog. As long as your dog is happy and not overstimulated, I wouldn't keep adding more and more stimulation. Or if your dog is overstimulated, I would not keep adding more and more stimulation. If they are not overstimulated, then go ahead with the puzzle toy because it could it could bring them back down. You know, everything's going on. Our arousal levels are going to be heightened just for a little bit during those few hours of trick-or-treating. And so we can bring them back down with a puzzle toy before bed. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. It was so much fun to come up with different ideas to... Um, to help our dogs during this difficult time, especially if our dogs are more on the fearful side of things like Apollo over here. Um, if, you guys if you guys have any questions or if you have your own suggestions of what you guys do during the, ho the holidays, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear more. I hope you have a great day, guys, and keep on training.